Hey, welcome to Make a Mark Studios. My name is Miss V, and today we're going to be drawing a half face digital cartoon portrait. This is a really fun activity in which half of the face is the photograph and half of the face is a digitally drawn cartoon portrait. We're going to be using a free web based drawing program called Klecky.com, but you can use any digital drawing program that you prefer. I highly recommend it has the capability to do layers. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to File, Import, and choose the photo you want to use. Choose it as a layer and then stretch it to fit your canvas. Go to Edit and Crop to remove any excess canvas if needed so that your photograph takes up the entire canvas. Click the plus sign under the Layer tab and add a layer. Then click Rename and Rename it Outline. Make sure that this layer is above your photograph. Then select your photograph layer and bring the opacity down to about 25%. On your outline layer, you're going to start by drawing a line that divides your photo in half. You can be creative with how you divide it. It doesn't have to be a straight horizontal or vertical line. It can be a curvy line like this one seen here. And then you want to take your time outlining all of the contours of the portrait. When you're doing little details like eyes, make sure you zoom in using the zoom in and zoom out icons in the top right on Clucky. You can control how close up you're looking at your image and using the hand tool, you can move around your canvas. Let's take a little break to go over how to save your work on Clucky. You'll wanna to go to the File tab and you'll see a few different options. You can click Save, which saves your work. You can save it as a PNG, PSD, which is a Photoshop file, or you can save individual layers. Note that when you save it as a PNG, it will compress all of your layers into one. A good way to work is to browser storage, save it. You'll see it says store and it stores the current state of your image and it'll be loaded again with layers each time that you open up Klecky. So if I were to exit out of Klecky and open it back up, as long as I haven't done any major reboot on my computer and deleted anything, then you should still have all of your layers there. So let's keep working. Our next step is to go to the Layers tab and add another layer. We're gonna rename this layer the Color Layer and we're gonna make sure we drag it below the Outline Layer. By dragging it below the Outline Layer, we'll be able to color in our cartoon portrait but still be able to see those black lines on top. Just like before, as you're adding color, make sure that you zoom in to get finer details. You can change your brush size to get better detail. Since this is a cartoon, it doesn't have to be realistically colored. You can have fun with expressive color in the hair, clothing, and skin. The next step is to go back to the Layers tab and we're going to add one last layer and call this our Background Color Layer. We're going to drag this underneath the Color Layer. What's cool about that is that you'll be able to color in your background without affecting the color of the cartoon on top. As you work, you might want to go back to your photo layer and bring the opacity up just to get a feel for what it's starting to look like. And your very last step is to start to add some value in details. Going back to your color layer, you can use the eyedropper tool to sample colors throughout your composition. And then you can use the blending brush, which is the second brush tool in from the left. And you can explore different levels of blending and opacity and different values of the colors. Your background doesn't have to be realistic. You can get really fun and expressive with this space. Add some patterns, add some quirky details.
work, you might want to explore the Edit tab on Klecky. There's some cool features that you can do to certain layers, like changing the hue and saturation to see what different colors would look like. When you're done, don't forget to save your work. And here's my finished example of my half cartoon digitally drawn portrait. I hope you found this video tutorial to be helpful. Feel free to subscribe for more videos from Make a Mark Studios, helping you to make your mark through art.